Hi, thank you for the question. Yeah, we are uh, definitely anticipating snow uh, in, in two different moments. Uh, one is going to be tonight into Saturday morning. Uh, we've got a snowfall warning for Hope uh, and the, uh, the Coquihalla and Allison Pass uh, could see up to 15 centimeters. Um, and then we are also looking at uh, deeper into the weekend, into Monday morning, uh, where another uh, system is sliding down the coast. We're now into a northwesterly flow. So snow is also likely and perhaps even down to sea level. So definitely without question, uh, winter tires being shifting into winter right now, uh, following Drive BC for the conditions uh, where you are both on the island, on the south coast and into the interior will be crucial for the next uh, few days. Carl, do you have a follow up? Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering though, like, will, will the will that accumulations of snow sort of affect flood uh, flood uh, situation, and then the Hope Merritt uh, Princeton area? Go ahead, Armel. Yeah, my understanding from River Forecast Center and the briefings that we've been giving to various uh, emergency management BC regional offices is that uh, the cooler conditions are actually helpful uh, in stabilizing uh, the environment. And that we uh, that we are seeing uh, the conditions ameliorate, but certainly a question for for Andrew Giles and the River Forecast Center in terms of the flooding piece. Go ahead, Andrew. Yes, indeed, uh, those cooler temperatures uh, do help to reduce the uh, inflow to uh, some of those already affected uh, river systems, uh, and uh, that will we'll see. Uh, with the cooler temperatures, reduced melting of snowpack in the mid to, mid to high elevations, uh, and also the sustained freezing temperatures in the interior of BC uh, will help to uh, reduce the water levels on the Fraser, uh, which will help water to be drained more quickly from the Sumas Prairie. Uh, 